Uh-oh, it looks like Bethesda has ruffled some feathers within the Fallout community because, get this, the beta will not be running 24-7 for Fallout 76. It's going to be running like a couple hours a day. So we're going to go over the official response as to why that is and what Bethesda is doing in terms of fixes for the beta and how they're even going to be able to fix anything uh, ahead of the game, considering the beta is like only releasing, what, two weeks ahead of the game but yeah we're also going to be going over bounty details and so much more so welcome back my fellow vault dwellers and wasteland wonders to open world games and remember we are fast approaching october which means we will be getting new gameplay so subscribe and whatever you do when you subscribe or follow me on facebook turn on notifications i promise you will not regret it you will have that brand new gameplay they're right in front of your face. You sit at the computer and gasp at the glorious gameplay. All right, so let's do this. So, uh, yeah, I posted the video about the uh, beta release date and all the beta details. You can find that in the description below if you missed it. Uh, but there were some responses about this. Uh, first of all, this comes from X Toothpick or something like that, who says, So I, or that's Toothpick, whatever. So he says, So I pre ordered to get the beta and can only play for four hours at a time. What the F? This is fa this is Fallout. You can't even loot a whole building in four hours. LOL. That's a really that's true. You know, I spend a lot of time looting, man. And then we got another comment from Battle Battalion who says specific times. I'll bet all my caps that it happens either when I'm sleeping or when I'm working and not in between. And then furthermore, Chris says this: the whole idea of playing during certain hours kind of worries me. I work a uh, second shift which to most people is the prime time to play games. So what happens then? Am I just screwed from playing the beta? I don't get home until around midnight uh, Eastern time. So like, yeah, that's slightly concerning. I'd really like to enjoy playing the beta, but from the sounds of it, I won't get to do so, end quote. And uh, we're going to get into Bethesda's official responses. But guys, I really feel you on this one. I completely understand your frustration because you did lay down the pre-order money and stuff like that. And this is really frustrating. I really hope that they consider having a, a period during the week where it is running 24-7. A couple days out of the week, uh, most notably the weekends, uh, where it is running Saturday and Sunday 24-7. Something, you know, I, that's, I encourage Bethesda to really consider doing that. Uh, but we're going to get into why this is happening. Why in the world does Bethesda need to keep pulling the beta offline during the day and only run it like four hours or something like that? And sometimes I think they're going to be running it even longer. Let's get into this. So uh, I will argue with anyone about anything. Asks, is the beta really only going to be active four hours a day? I mean, come on. And Pete Hines says this. One day it may be another, it may be eight. Uh, we need to put up, we need to put it up Get lots of people in a short period to play, break things, take take it down to fix it, and put it back up to test repeat, end quote. So that's kind of an explanation also as to why they want to take it down, is to basically fix it, I guess. Um, that's definitely interesting um, because I guess they would have to adjust stuff. I'm not a developer, so I don't know how it works, but I guess that's the only way... Uh, they can really do it in the time frame, of course. But, you know, why is it only these four to eight hours, uh, which is such a bummer. He further does explain this. But they did say, you know, there that some days might be eight hours. So at least there's that. Hopefully the majority of the days are eight hours and not this short four hours uh, at all. So, okay. Uh, furthermore, uh, Hex Grill says, hey, Pete, I just have a qu quick question about the beta. I understand that it will be four to eight hours a day. Will time zones be taken into account or is it just U.S. times? Excellent question there. And Pete Hines responds saying, my understanding is they want to vary both days and times as we go along so we are allowing folks to come in globally. Only U.S. does not help us enough. We need everyone, end quote. Uh, so that's really tricky because I don't even know how they're going to run this globally for only what? four to eight hours because man when some people are waking up in the world a lot of people are going to bed so this is going to be tricky okay the next comment comes from jesse who says beta this close to release means 
that it is just a trial or a demo of a full game. There's no way they can make changes to the game in such a short amount of time, so it's not really a beta. And that's, you know, a pretty good assessment. But Pete Hines did respond to this one. He says, I'm not sure you understand the term as it relates to game dev. The reason the beta is not up all the time is we take it down to fix and change things. So it's sort of the exact opposite of what you said. Uh, end quote. So yeah, apparently they can fix stuff within a short period of time. I think it's the goal to figure out what in the world can we hot fix within X amount of time. Because, you know, Fortnite, I know some of you hate Fortnite and don't want to hear about Fortnite, but they are experts in many ways at fixing things very, very quickly. I mean, they can fix things within hours even. So I think that's going to be a big experiment during this week for Bethesda is how quickly can the team, you know, fix, needed, uh, fix the things that need to be fixed. Uh, so I think going into this beta, that's what's going to be super important for them to really uh, go into that crunch time mode and get things addressed. All right, so this comes from Darksins, who says, Sorry, but I cannot more strongly blame your marketing department. I have a strong MMO background, alpha testing every iteration of World of Warcraft except Classic. A beta is supposed to last months. All the backlash would have been avoided if you just called it demo instead. And P. Hines responds, saying, The beta has lasted for months. The beta, in all caps, mind you, does not end quote i'm confused no i'm just kidding so uh there's that explanation but someone did ask this question it's a really good follow-up question what is the difference of the beta and beta which one will start first and when and uh sounds like he is scratching his head for sure and p Hine says this beta all the content is in the game and you're focused on fixing bugs and optimizing Beta, the public facing part of the process, where we let tons of people into the full game to test it and stress test our systems. Beta is the end of our beta, end quote. So we're basically participating in the period where I think they've gotten past like the major alpha stages of the game, the major bugs, and we're there to really stress test the servers. And that's what we're going to be doing. And that's what the beta is more about. It's not particularly about bugs of course they want to keep identifying the bugs but they also want to make sure that the game is running really smooth and that that's going to be really their primary focus i think they're probably going to just jot down a lot of the bugs and then in time just uh release patches throughout the beginning uh launch of this game but yeah expect the uh beta to have a uh, uh rough period during it you know a rough start and stuff like that I, i'm expecting that i remember gt online was unplayable in many, many ways. So uh, they they took their uh, time addressing all those issues with GTA Online throughout the first, I think it was two months or something like that. It took a long time for it to get stable. But when it got stable, man, was it worth it. I mean, GTA Online is one of the best selling games uh, out there, even today. All right, enough rambling there. But uh, Maximum Mazit says, wouldn't there be just different times for different server locations? And Pete Hines responds saying, again, we want as many people playing within the shortest framework so that we are not only testing the gameplay, but testing the back end. Spreading things out doesn't help as much with that, end quote. So he further explains, again, why they're doing these four to eight hours. They want people crammed into that spot, the population on the servers to be like almost breaking the game. They want it to be at its height. They're trying to imitate uh, I guess the launch of this game and trying to figure out what will work, what is going to happen when they finally launch this game on November 14th. That kind of does make sense, of course, uh, to me at least, because they want that traffic to be like pretty, pretty big at the beginning. Okay, so yes, we also have some brand new bounty details and details about uh, PvP. So Martin says this, hey, I was wondering what ha would happen if I were to kill a player marked as a murderer, but they have no caps on them, what would the bounty be? That's a good question. And uh, behind response saying, in that case, I don't think you get an additional caps reward. You get a basic reward, but not a bounty from them. But they do receive a deep buff penalty. The amount of damage they can do to anything gets lowered from for some amount of time. End quote. And there's your answer on that one. All right, guys. Now it is time 
to go into top comments. Let's do this. Remember, leave a comment down below. Don't be shy. It could end up in the video. Let me know what you make of these, uh, you know, um, you know, this time period that you could play with the beta, this four to eight hours. I think it's rough. I really do think, again, they need to re reassess this at least for two days out of the week. The weekends would be uh, a really good time period, in my opinion, uh, so that we could play all together and not really worry too much. All right, so the first top comment comes from Potsium, who says, She asked, do you love me? I said, only partly. I only love my pit boy and dog meat. Not sorry. Wow, that is harsh. And the story goes on to where he finds a blow-up doll, and he lives with his pit boy, dog meat, and blow-up doll happily ever after in the wasteland. <laughs> All right, next top comment is some funny comment from you guys, for sure. I extended that story out. Okay, and the next comment comes from Deathstalker. It says, this game is going to have such a rough release. First and only beta less than two weeks before the full release is just terrible. But Battlefield 5 had an open beta over one month before release. That, and they have to delay the full release by an extra month. I'm going to be furious if they have, if they end up, excuse me, delaying the game because the beta made them see how much needs fixing, end quote. Death Soccer, I don't think that's going to happen at all. They're going to nail, uh, even though the game is going to be kind of broken. I think the game will have issues no matter what. And they're going to take the first month, first couple months, to really address uh, the issues. But guys, thank you for watching and sticking with me here throughout this whole video. I am kind of under the weather, just to let you know, but uh, appreciate you guys sticking with me uh, throughout the video. And yes, time to celebrate, guys. Uh, I cannot freaking wait for October. We are getting near and closer to gameplay, to big reveals. Bethesda said they're gonna have their own gameplay up. YouTubers are gonna have their own gameplay up. Todd, I mean, uh, Pete Hines has confirmed it's going to be like hundreds of hours worth of gameplay that we will be able to sit and enjoy. And then, of course, I'm going to have gameplay up as well. Look forward to that. Again, press that subscribe button, notification icon. Do not forget to follow me on Facebook. See all those links in the description below. I'll try to have it like as a pinned comment as well so you don't miss uh, anything. But just to recap on this video, again, my statement, my statement to Bethesda right now is please consider uh, adding two days of the week during this beta where it is 24-7 for everyone or, you know, extend it even beyond eight hours. Give people some proper time. They did pre-order your game. They were expecting to play, I think, 24 hours, 24-7, uh, at least have access 24-7, not play 24-7. You kill yourself doing that. But thanks, guys, for watching. Stay tuned here to Open World Games. For more Fallout 76 and open world gaming goodness, and I will see you soon enough in the wasteland. Take care, guys.